What's up YouTube, OptoInfo, back with another weekly video. Check it out. What's the diagnosis here? Is this the new Bevelis 20 adapter lens? Sort of like Samsung's new cell phones? Not quite. Is it a broken 20 adapter lens? Wrong again. I just took it apart. Try this next case. You hear that? What is that? Is that a broken 20 adapter lens as well? No, of course not. It's just loose. What's up with this? Why doesn't it sit flat? It get all scratched up this way. The lens is just in backwards. This is another video for the first years out there. Um, I want to orient you a little bit more to the lenses that we use every day in clinic. Um, you may not be aware of this. We've got, uh, this is a 20 doctor lens, but it's for, this goes for all lenses. There's a little ring on the inside that tightens it um, and secures it in place. And if you just lefty loosey unscrew this ring all the way past the threads, just pops right out. So there's, a, there's that little ring, the little notch is always facing up. Sort of gives you something where you can you can dig in, catch it with the fingernail, and uh, and loosen it initially. Um, and then the lens, well, it's got a um, little notch that keeps it from falling out this way. Um, but if you turn it over, it'll come right out. And there's some directionality to the lens. These are aspheric lenses, um, so you can't just put it in uh, either way. It's you have to put it in the correct way. And the, uh, I can talk about the optics of that later, but for now, I just want to tell you the way you put it in, it's that the part that's bulgy, the part that sticks out more, um, it goes up. Um, so if you're putting this down in your, in your palm with, so that you can read the letters, you have that face, the bulgy part face up. And that way, when you lay it flat, it won't, uh, it won't scratch the glass. It won't knock the glass. It'll sit flat. So, um, the next step is that you just take your ring with the notch up and sort of drop it into place and sort of have put tension on both sides of the ring. If you just push down on one side and start to screw, this other side will pop up and it won't really catch, catch the threads correctly. So I just sort of do this number with my fingers and spin it into place. And it takes a few turns. And once you, once you catch the threads, then you can try to do it with one finger. And I'm good. Nice and secure in there. Not making any noise. Yeah, you can take it out and you can clean it. Um, then use some gloves if you can try to put it back in. Otherwise, you'll, um, you'll put, get a lot of smudges on it. Uh, so that's it. Um, so hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Peace.